And welcome back to the Derek Dockery Show, brought to you by Diamond Cutters of Western New York. Now let's head down to the Bills locker room with Ashton Bodie getting a more in-depth look at the Bills. Taking it over from, from Steve to take you into the locker room once again another week. Big win by the Bills. See the reaction in the locker room. Here we go. Larry Triplett, our D tackle up here. I got a few questions for you if you can help me out. Uh, first question, if your coach wore a costume this year for Halloween, what, do, what would he be? The Grinch. <sighs> My tight end coach <laughs> had a costume. He would be a uh, nervous wreck. Next one. This is my fellow DB, Kowaki Thomas, number 25. Our coach, George, if he wore a costume this Halloween, what would he be? <sighs> Elmer Fudge. <laughs> this is Matt Murphy, tight end, Buffalo Bills. Hey. Charlie would be, I have to say, he'd be uh, Oompa Loompa. <laughs> fellow DB, Jabari Greer here. Um, you know, uh, if our coach, George, what, wore a costume, what would he be? If Coach wore a costume, I think he'd be Hugh Hefner. Uh, <laughs> you know, as uh, when you go in there, you can just see him with his hair slicked back and his uh, his smoking robe on. Uh, as a kid, what was your favorite candy? Uh, my favorite candy. You know, I love Snickers, man. Uh, Snickers. Probably my favorite kind of candy would be Three Musketeers. My favorite candy growing up. Man. Please don't say Snickers. I really don't. I really don't have a favorite, man. I really. I, I mean, there were so many. I like Snickers, Kit Kats. Kisses, everything. I like everything. So you got, sure, you're a candy guy. I used to like candy. I really don't. I'm not. A, I'm not a big candy guy anymore. I used to. Uh, I used to really have a sweet tooth. Candy? No, candy's bad for your teeth. <laughs> yeah. I, I, if you did eat candy, what would be your favorite candy? My favorite candy. When I do eat candy, Snickers. Snickers. Yeah, about five for Snickers. Now I'm the only Milky Way guy. Oh uh, yeah, you just different. Different. Special. We call it special. Any kids? Yeah, I do. I have two, and they'll be they'll be uh the blue and the pink Power Ranger. My daughter's Tinkerbell, and my son's a big pumpkin. Yeah, my daughter. Her her big thing is being a princess. So you know, I let her be a princess. You're getting her the whole the whole princess everything. Oh, getting it. She already has all the stuff. She just needs to put it on, man. She she's really into it. So. Are you dressing up this year? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm gonna be um uh, the boy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do it. Okay. Are you, are you kids? Yeah. Many of your bodies. We all, yo, yeah, yo. Are they, are they wearing the 26 jersey? Yep. <laughs> go, you got to go get your 26 <laughs> jerseys, though. They're going to be flipped backwards. Turn yeah. Around? Turn them around. Okay. Um, we think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got some inside jokes here. Can't end the show without 30 seconds, you know? So here's Jabari Greer for his 30 seconds. I don't know what to say, man. I just, I guess, uh, I appreciate all the, you know, all the love that I've been given, but I, I realize that, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is all fleeting, man. So, everybody, I want to say thank you, and I'm gonna continue to put out a product that uh, the community of Buffalo can be proud of. Thank you, Jabari Greer. So, I guess we got a couple Grinches, we got some Snickers, lo Snicker lovers, we got some crazy costumes. But at the end of the day, when you have a 6'5", 333 guy coming at you, you got to be fast and quick and run. That's what I'm going to do. Out of here.